Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom in um, Precalculus Algebra, and I wanted to look at a problem from section uh, 2.3 and uh, see how to use the graphing tools in both uh, my math lab and on your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this problem here. It's uh, number one in the homework, and it says sketch the graphs of the following pair of functions on the same coordinate plane. Um, so the first question says the points negative 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1 of f of x translate to the points of, we had looked at an example in class, you can also uh, go to the last class session and pull that up and see how we did that. But notice that when we, we add a value to the entire function like this, where the value is by itself not attached to the x, but uh, added or subtracted from the entire function, uh, that's only going to change the y value. So basically it's going to be the same points except we're going to add 8 to the entire y value. Um, so it's going to be the same x value, so negative 1, and then 1 plus 8 is 9. So uh, separate over the comma, that's what it tells us to do. The second one is same x value, and then we're going to add uh, 8 to zero, so we get eight, and same x value, and then we are going to add eight to one, where we get nine. And those should be our three points. All right, and the next one says, use the graphing tool to graph the functions. All right, so let's go ahead and enlarge this, and we want to graph the functions here. So, uh, first, we need to know what these functions look like. So this is where I'm going to use uh, my calculator here. And I'm going to put them uh, both in here. So my y1 function, clear this out, is going to be that first one. It's going to be the absolute value of x. So I'm going to go here under math number. That's my absolute value function. So I'm going to do absolute value. And now I'm going to put x in there. And that's the first function. The second one is the g of x is the absolute value of x plus 8. So go to math, absolute value. So absolute value of x. Now if I hit plus 8 here, that's going to do a horizontal shift. And that's that means uh, left to right. And that's not what I want. So I want to move the arrow outside of that x part. And I want to put the plus 8 here because that will do the vertical shift going up and down. Oops. Um, plus 8 like this. All right, now let's go ahead and graph this and see what it looks like. And we're not going to be able to, so this is the absolute value of x there. And if you um, use the trace function here, the trace, you can see that the blue line is the absolute value of x. And if I hit up, that the red line is the absolute value of x plus 8. It tells you that in the little upper part right here. Now, look at my, I can't really see this upper one too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. Right now, the standard window is uh, for my x is from negative 10 to positive 10. My y is from uh, negative 10 to positive 10. So if I go to my window here, notice I don't have... Uh, any negative y values. So for my x's, I can keep it from, well, I'm going to go a little bit out. So I'm going to go negative, well, I'll keep it at negative 10 to positive 10. That's fine because no need to change it. But for my y's, notice I have a range of 20 because uh, it goes from negative 10 to positive 10. So, but instead of looking at that, I'm going to keep the same range, but I'm going to go from Oops, from 0 to 20, like this. Now, when I go ahead and graph it, I should be able to see what's going on a little bit better. And notice that every point is being shifted up in the new function by 8 points. And that's what we said before, right? Because uh, that plus 8. So this is the absolute value of x, and this is the absolute value of x plus 8. All right, so let me go ahead and 
Get rid of this for a second. It says click the graph to in the palette and follow the instructions to create your graph. And they are asking us to graph the functions. All right, so if I use this tool, that looks like I just have to graph two points on it like this. So there's my first one. Now notice the slope of that is just uh, one over one, right? Because if I put a, a zero in there for the absolute value of zero, it gives us a zero for the y value. So zero, zero is a point. If I put one in there, one for x, the absolute value of one is one. So any two points there will work. If I were to put a negative one in there, the absolute value of negative one is also positive one. So those two points would have worked. All right, and then if I click on this again. I can also do this right there as well. So that is my second function there uh, that starts up here at eight because every y value is moved up eight. And that should, let me go ahead and check answer. Very good. All right. So uh, in a little while, I'll pick out another one to do with a graph and uh, upload that as well. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.